hello guys today we will see that how to do the boolean in space claim so you can see lots of video about boolean in design modeler however doing boolean in space claim is a bit confusing So for that what I am going to do, I am going to make a geometry in ANSYS Fluent and from there I will try to show you that how to do the boolean in space claim. The main purpose of doing boolean is to create a interface. So here I have started the space claim. So what I am going to do, first of all, I will make a cylinder of 10 millimeter. And I am going to extrude it for 50 millimeter then after that what I will do I will take a rectangle or inside that rectangle Let us take this value as uh, 100 mm and this value as 50 mm. We can shift this part like we can bring the cylinder in center and after that what we will do we will extrude it let us make it to around the in order to have the better view what we can do we can change the display setting here now here we can see that here we have a box and inside the box there is a cylinder so problem here is that if you do not do boolean and if you try to study the conjugate heat transfer so conjugate heat transfer is something like that the transfer of heat from the solid medium or from the fluid medium to the solid medium let us assume that this whole box is a kind of fluid medium and inside that fluid medium there is a cylinder and that cylinder is made up of solid and let us assume that this surface area is inlet and from this surface area basically hot air is flowing okay so and you want to understand that how and what amount of heat will be transferred from the fluid medium to the solid medium so in order to study that you have to have the interface between the solid medium and the fluid medium for that we need to do the boolean and if you do not do the boolean then problem will occur when you will go to the final uh, setting of 
this ANSYS prevent then there you will see that there is a problem and where heat is not transported in proper way so now let us try to see that how we can do the boolean in here so so for this geometry we will name it as cylinder and let us say let us name it as the fluid zone okay now let us start doing the boolean select it go to the combine option select this icon then click over cylinder okay go back here now uh, this is the fluid zone and this is your in actual solid now what you can do you can delete this geometry and again you can rename it as cylinder now boolean is performed so now if you want to see that what is the benefit of boolean so for that we have to go to the meshing section so now i am going to start the meshing option in here if you go to the connection in here then you can see that we have already done the boolean so that's why here you can see the you know interface this is basically the contact body view and this is basically the target body view okay so without doing boolean when you do not do boolean and if you come to the, this matching section then you can't see such kind of you know interface that's why boolean is important so to prove it what i am going to do i am going to open uh, the another geometry and in this another geometry what i will do i will make the similar kind of geometry in here and there i will not do the boolean after that we will see that without doing boolean what we get in connections so again here i am going to make a cylinder so this is for the explanation purpose so the exact uh, dimension is not that much important so i do not care right now about the dimension and now what i am going to do i am going to fit this cylinder inside a box let us make a rectangle in here now let us extrude it okay in order to have the proper view we can change the setting graphic setting so that you can see the inside view of this rectangle so now again what we will do we will name it like the internal part is cylinder so i will name it it as cylinder and here this is the fluid zone okay now what we will do we will go to the meshing and we will see that whether we are able to get the interface or not
now come to the connection point here you can see that we can't see anything since we have not performed the boolean option therefore we are unable to see the interface between the fluid zone and the cylinder zone so there are some another way also through which you can create the interface in this meshing part but those are very complicated one so best option and easy and reliable option is to do the boolean in the geometry then come to the meshing section thank you for watching the video